Mmm, Neapolitan. I can't stop eating it. It's just so good. I mean, I love chocolate. I love vanilla. And I love strawberry. Mm. No, 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 brain freeze, brain freeze. Curse you, ice cream. Why do you have to lure me in with your deliciousness just to attack my brain? Join me, Veronica, for Science Mysteries Revealed. This week's arch nemesis, brain freeze. Let's be clear about one thing. There's a war going on between your brain and your ice cream. Now ice cream is a cunning and ruthless foe and we need to remain vigilant. Part of being vigilant is being informed. So let me bestow some information on you, Private. Our intel has provided this detailed map of the battlegrounds. Right here, we have the brain. And on this side, our sworn enemy, ice cream. And here is where the battle, to end all battles, will be fought. The roof of your mouth. Ice cream knows our weak spot, so that's where it will strike. Roger that, Private! When you're eating ice cream and a brain freeze hits, there's no helmet out there that can protect you from that kind of pain. So before you tuck your head between your legs and kiss your little fanny goodbye, I'm going to show you our strategy for Operation Ice Cream. Once you take a bite of that ice cream, it's going to make its way up here to the roof of your mouth, like this. Now the cold temperature of the ice cream is going to chill this area and therefore contract or tighten the blood vessels above it. Time for a counterattack. In response to the contracted blood vessel, the brain sends more warm blood to the area. Once the reinforcements arrive, the blood vessel gets warmed up and therefore expands back to its original shape. So the pressure from all this blood vessel activity is what causes the pain of the brain freeze. But why do we feel the pain here or here instead of the roof of our mouth? Well, the enemy is taking advantage of us. The pain signal travels along a nerve that's responsible for all of your facial sensation. As the signal travels, the brain gets a bit confused and thinks that the pain is coming from somewhere else in your head. Let me tell you something, soldier. Last summer, I got a pretty nasty brain freeze, and it felt a little something like this. Oh, brain! Wait, what are we doing? Something that feels like that can't be good for your brain, right? Well, despite the sharp pain, there is actually no long-term damage. Isn't that nice? <laughs> Nevertheless, this icy scum causes us pain for a brief moment, and we need to find a way to stop it. But what can we do to thwart the frozen grip of our diabolical enemy? Perhaps. More firepower. Three, two, one. Actually, you just eat slower. And if you do get a brain freeze, pressing your tongue against the roof of your mouth will warm the area and cut your brain freeze short. I guess I overreacted. This war isn't as dangerous as I thought. And brain freeze don't actually cause any damage after all. And you can always prevent it by eating slower. In which case, I think I'll have another. Mm? We all brush our teeth at least twice a day. Well, what would happen if you just stopped altogether? I mean, cavemen did it and they survived, right? Join me, Veronica, for Science Mysteries Revealed. This week's petrifying pest, teeth.